There are several ways to test for mycoplasma hyonemoniae, and knowing which method is right for the job is key. In this video, we'll be going over how to take a laryngeal swab. Testing deep in the respiratory tract is the best way to ensure you're getting an accurate sample if you must sample a live pig. Before diving into how you properly get a sample from the larynx, here's the testing equipment you will need. Swabs, a mouth gag, a swine snare, a laryngoscope, and hemostatic clamps. And for the best chance at a clean sample, make sure you have the following supplies. Personal protective equipment, a permanent marker, protective earplugs, disinfectant wipes, a caddy for equipment, a trash bag, storage bags for samples, a cooler, ice packs, a submission form, and mailing and packaging materials. The first step in sampling is identifying what your objective is and the subsequent test group. Once you know that, select a pig for testing. Depending on your herd size, you will usually test somewhere between 25 and 35 pigs. First, place snare around the pig's snout, behind its upper set of teeth. Once the pig is under control, insert the mouth gag between its jaws. Safely controlling the pig can often be a two-person job, so make sure you have help. If you don't have a mouth gag, an alternative option could be a piece of two inch or five centimeter PVC pipe. Make sure the edges are sanded smooth. Remove the swab from its packaging. There are several different types of swabs, but rayon, like the one we're using today, is ideal, and cotton should not be used. Grab the end of the swab with hemostatic clamps. This will extend the reach of your swab deeper into the pig's respiratory tract. Use the blade of the laryngoscope to see the back of the pig's throat. If you don't have a laryngoscope, position the pig under a light source and use a tongue depressor. The epiglottis must go down in order for you to see the larynx opening. When the swab enters the larynx, keep in mind you may hear the pig's squeal change in pitch. Once you reach the larynx, swab the cartilages that open and close the airway by rotating and sliding the swab up and down and around the larynx. When you remove the swab, check to make sure there's enough mucus on the swab for a good sample. Place the swab in the tube, close and label it, then place it in a labeled bag. Fill out the submission form for that pig's sample. Mark the pig as sampled. Use disinfecting wipes to clean all tools that will be used on the next group of pigs. Anything that could possibly contaminate the sampling from one pig to the next must be replaced or cleaned. Once you are finished collecting all your samples, secure the tubes in the cooler with enough ice packs to maintain a temperature between 32 and 40 degrees Fahrenheit or zero and four degrees Celsius. Secure lid on the cooler with packing tape, include a completed submission form and the appropriate mailing information. You can view more videos on proper mycoplasma hyonemoniae testing in its various forms on the Beringer Ingelheim Swine Health YouTube page.